Welcome back to the channel and I want to wish you happy new year and I hope this year gives you a very good perspective towards your career and life. And today I am starting a new series known as Casual Talk where I am going to talk something for sure casual but something which is very important about life and how life happens after design and during design also. So it's my role and responsibility to share you some sort of experience and about people's experience which talks about how reality is and what we actually think. And when you hit the reality, you get to know that, okay, this is not what we thought, but it is happening right now. So today I want to talk about a very important thing that is we have a wrong misconception towards career and towards the institute you choose. It's in India. And if in India you want to do design, you check about NID or NIFT. I don't want to talk about NID because it has a very different, very different path and the process of getting admitted and the study and the design process is really beautiful in NID. But in NIFT, there is a problem. And the problem is a lack of awareness towards the career, the lack of awareness towards students who don't know how to take it to the next level. I know I'm talking something very different, which is like weird, but I want to clear it out very simply that there are a long, long list of misconceptions towards what we think and what is going to happen. Already I have talked in the previous video about three things I wish I knew before getting into design school, but I think there are many more things that I have to share with you guys. And when I talk about any institute and this video, I have talked about NIFT because I come from that school and I have learned a lot from that place. But I realized one thing that there are good and bad, the pros and cons. On internet, when you checked out, there are pros and pros and pros and pros and pros. And when you go to enroll coaching, they talk about pros, pros and jannat and mannat and whatever temple you are getting into is going to shape you out, is going to change your life, your career, whatever. I don't know. But coaching centers and all the positive people who talk about positivity, also know that there are some important there is some negativity hidden behind which students are not aware about and especially the niftians the nift aspirants who blindly put the black tape on their eyes and just start working hard rendering learning perspective drawing and doing all sort of things and when you get to know one important thing and they get a hit hard slap when you get to start studying design the perspective is very different so I want to tell you something today that is, guys, you need to do a very deep research before getting into any institute in India. And when I talk about in India, you know, the fee structure of design is pretty expensive. And when you put that much expensive thing, you should know that end term goal should come out in a very beautiful way. But if it does not come, you have a pressure on yourself. And one of the most important thing people ask is what is the placement, how the placement happened, how the industry work. But I don't know how many people talk about is how the industry is treating many of the designers, how they treat you, how they they don't pay you money. They pay you so less money and they ask you to do a lot of job, which is an unorganized section and you do it like a slave. No one is talking about it. No one is doing uh, many things about they're not talking about the problem happening in the industry. So the problem and the main thing I'm talking is that a very obedient child who has a dream to become a fashion designer, because when you talk about, if you talk about becoming a fashion designer, first of all, in the first page, once you get into it, you know, okay, there is knitwear or there is a fashion communication or there are many other different ways to accomplish your goal in your life. But when you start with the perspective of an obedient child that he thinks that, oh, I want to become a fashion designer, I will design some sort of clothes. And I, I, I really get a message like, how can I become a man, uh, designer like Manish Manotra Sabe I'm like, why are they asking me this question? Because in the industry, this is not the only thing happening forever. There are many designers who are so creative and they are doing it in a different perspective. So there is one important thing which I want to tell you through this video is that, guys, design and fashion fashion ke term if you talk there is a brainstorm if you do brainstorming of fashion there is glamour but when we talk about design design is problem solving design can be taken into textile in a beautiful way but design in moreover is all about problem solving making things better than before 
there is a blind race going on right now. We used to say that, okay, engineers and doctors are blindly working like a rat race. Aap bhaag rahe ho, sabko engineer banna hai, sabko doctor banna hai. In India right now, when we talk about design, design also have now a new race that is a rat race and everyone are doing a competition with each other everyone are trying to do a business with that and the people who are the customer of these business people should know that there is a lack of knowledge the lack of data provided to you which is going to hit you on the final year or in during the time you enter into internship that there was some sort of thing which i was not aware before getting into such institute or such courses and this is happening for sure because I get a lot of messages which is just blindly they want to know how to get into NIFT. No one is talking about the perspective. No one is talking about the process they want to. No one is talking about what they really love to get into. Why they want to get into NIFT. Why they want to learn fashion design. They just love fashion because they love to wear clothes or whatever it is their favorite choices i don't have any idea but no one talks about why they want to get into this institute why they want to choose fashion design you have to ask yourself because 2021 kids the exam is next month i don't know because i'm not checking anything right now but you should know why you are enrolling into such institute because if you don't know if you are not clear about why then you are going to hit something terrible. And there is one more important thing that some people think that, okay, if you don't get into such institute, your career is not going to grow. I mean, oh my God, I've seen someone who who, who is in Bollywood right now, a uh, makeup artist, I guess, a person who never went into NIFT or nothing. And the person wanted to get into NIFT, but he was not able to achieve that. But today's person, that person is doing really great in some TV shows and all. So I think, you have to know one thing that the hype people have created that, okay, this is something which you have to stand on. If if you are not standing on this tip, mean to say you're failing and that is a very wrong vision. And I think that you guys are smart enough to know that there's a lack of awareness in the market. And the biggest lack of awareness is that industry is harsh. Industry is very hard. There will be a time when the people is going to pay you so low. And which industry I'm talking, especially fashion industry. I'm not talking about the design agencies, graphic design agencies. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking especially about fashion design industry. The way you want to wear ghagra choli, chanya choli or lehenga or western wear, ready to wear garment, ut kutur, whatever you talk. Industry is very hard. Industry is going to show you real face once you get into it. There will be something, the wages talk. It, will, it can be very low. Sometimes they are not going to pay you. This is also the condition. And if you if if you think that I'm talking, what I'm talking is not true. There are so many, there are so many Facebook pages where the employee, the designers complain, they tag the designer's label that this designer has done fraud things. So you should know that industry is really hard in fashion. And you should know that you are getting into something which is going to be serious in future. And there is a scape till third year or final you you will realize that oh this is not what i want to do i want to do something else that's a different thing that's a different scenario but there's a lack of awareness in the market on youtube i i don't find anyone talking something really really genuine about the problem they have faced i have also faced a lot of things in college and no one was there to teach me it was me myself who came out of that especially like design process, especially into some sort of things which you yourself develop. No one helps you into that. So there are many things. Only the thing you have to know that, guys, you're entering into something which is not a very light job, which is not going to be like a wow, wow, glamour, glamour, piece of cake, something like that. It is not going to be something like that. It is going to be very harsh, very hard, very busy, or very much strong, very much strong, bold, whatever you use a hard word that is going to be attracted towards your thing, towards your profession. Keep that in mind. That's what I wanted to tell you in, from this video because most of you guys or those who are applying into NIFT or those who are studying in foundation also are not aware about how things are going to work in third year and final year. And after final year, how it is going to be changed because NIFT don't teach you how to price your product. They don't teach you how to price your freelance job. They don't teach you about what is the worth of your work that you have to discover by your own. And when you disc start discovering by your own, you fail a lot. 
most of my friends i know i remember some of the people used to charge 500 rupee for fashion illustration and there are some people who charge 10000 rupee for one fashion illustration there's a difference of your work and there's a difference of branding your own self so that's a growth but you should know that the place where you are entering is not a easy cup piece of cake yeah entering into nift cracking nift may be a big task for you you may cry for a day oh my god i i did something jannat mil gaya heaven mil gaya ab to life change ho jayega aisa kuch nahi hone wala nothing is going to happen like that instead of that you will have a lot of burden about you think how to grow in your career so that's what i wanted to talk in this casual talk series the first episode which i have talked which is generally me myself talking about how things can go in life but in future with this series of episodes of casual talk i'm going to invite some people from the industry or someone who talks about what they are doing in design right now after graduation so this episode is going to be very much interesting in future so aaj ka jo video tha that was just an introduction about what we are going to talk which is going to be very serious dope shits because we are going to talk about very much serious dope things about life and how design things happen that's what i have talked if you just got frightened about what i talked i don't wanted to do that but i wanted to tell you the reality how life goes and how really harsh life is once you are into it so you should know that you cannot say oh my god i didn't knew this because i get a call and people say oh my god this is not what i expected and it's happening on my side. i i knew it it's going to happen you should knew that so it's better start doing freelance job from now so that you should know how much industry charge you and what is the worth of your life what is the worth of your work do that that's what i want to say in this video i'm going to sign up with this episode episode 1 was all about casual talk and dear niftians and all about how it can happen See you in the next episode of episode 2 for casual talk till then peace